All right, I'm back on the skull today. And uh, I'm trying to get it ready so I can add the muscles to the face of the horse. And what I'm doing is trying to match the structure and the shadows on the structure to the shadows on my clay. That's really all a sculptor does is he shapes shadows. And that's what I'm doing right now. Time to play with some clay. As I mentioned yesterday, the reason I'm taking so much time on the skull is because the skull is very important to the uh, character of the face of the horse. I was uh, asked yesterday in one of my comments, on one of the comments on my video, do I allow people to come by and visit at my studio? And I said, yes, I do. It's just that you have to give me at least 24 hour notice so that I make sure that I'm going to be here. And uh, that I can... Uh, meet with you and stuff like that but uh yeah if you ever get around Ennis Montana uh you're welcome to come by just give me a little warning that's all I'm not the Pope <laughs> you you can stop by anytime as long as after one o'clock in the afternoon when I'm awake okay i'm just gonna work on the uh eye socket of this uh side of the horse In my uh, instructional online videos streaming, I show how to get to this point in your sculpting of a horse head. I've actually got a video that's dedicated completely to sculpting a horse head. It was one of the first videos that I did, and uh, it's a good video. Anyway. While I got it out, I'm going to go ahead and work on the eye socket. That looks good. All right, all right, there we go. All right, I gotta do the brain pan.
putting the cheekbone in. Got to make sure I'm lining it up right with the other cheekbone. Now to fill in around the cheekbone. It really, really does help to have this skull right here. Because even, let me show you. Even if you have a maquette, it doesn't really show you all that. It's, it's good for muscles and stuff like that, but it doesn't really show you the skull so you got to have something that really does show you the true form of a skull of a horse I don't know if you can get Arabian horse skulls or not uh, I don't do Arabian horses so I've never checked into that the horses I do are Mustangs not quarter horses, because uh, no matter what you see in modern-day Hollywood westerns, cowboys did not ride quarter horses in the Old West. Quarter horses wouldn't have lasted in the lifestyle of the cowboy back then. Mustangs could survive on nothing but grass, prairie grass. Must, uh, quarter horses have to have grain and uh, a, li a different type of feed um, than a Mustang did. Okay, I just want to see if I'm still looking good with the head. And it looks great. Good size, right size. It's one head length from the top of the withers to the uh, point of the bone right there. And it is exactly that. And uh, the same with the uh, depth of the thorax. So I've got the uh, right size head now I need to just put the uh, muscles on the head and uh, I'll start doing that in a few minutes here I'm not going to show it all but uh, I will show what I can all right Start putting the muscles on and uh, see how far we can get with that today. Okay, I'm just uh, creating the opening of the mouth and then I'll join the muscles up to that.
I was just checking the uh, proportions and making sure I'm on the button here, and I am. It's just a slight increase in size, but that's because of the uh, opening of the jaw. Now you can see why I spent so much time on the skull. It really pays off. Uh, this is all I'm going to have time to do today. I'll do the other side and finish that one up. And then I'll uh, possibly put it back on the horse. I have to do, well, I have to make the hackamore first. But, uh, I'm happy the way this is turning out. All right, everybody. Have a good night, and I'll see you next time. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.